Okay, we're going to be looking at how to interpret a scatter plot. Now, when we interpret a scatter plot, we look at direction and outliers. That's if there's any, and this is by visual at the moment. Then we look at the form and we look at the strength of it as well. Let's have a look at the direction and outliers if there's any. For the scatter plot below, we can see that there is a random scatter plot with no direction. And this suggests that there is no relationship and it could have an outlier. And we can see that this graph, this scatter plot over here, is all over the place and there seems to be a little outlier out there. Not necessary, but you know, we can, we can sort of look at it. If it was further out, we could say more. Now, the next scatter plot that we'll see on the next page shows a clear pattern drifting upwards. Now, if it's drifting upwards, it means we've got a positive relationship and there will be no outliers in this one once you get to see it. Now, positive relationship, remember that as the gradient goes positive, it goes up the hill, so that is a positive relationship. The next one we'll see that there is a clear pattern drifting downwards. So that suggests a negative relationship. And again, this graph here that you'll see will have no outliers. And you can see that if we sort of draw a line at those dots, it goes downwards. Try and draw a straight line. And remember, we're doing this just freehand here. So you would have to draw a straight line yourself. But it is going down the hill, so it is a negative relationship. The next thing that we can look at is the form as we said. Now we have to see whether it's got a linear form. And if so, we say that the variables are linearly related. Okay. So here we've got two graphs. You can see that we do have a line that we can draw between the dots. So we do get a straight line. So this is one that is linearly related and it's positive. And if we look at the next one, we can draw another line in there as well. This one is a negative graph and again it is linearly related. But this one that we see is non-linearly related. We can see that clearly the line suggests that it is a curve and you can see it right there. It's a curve there, so this is a non-linearly related graph. Now we should be looking at the strength of the relationship and the strength of the relationship is known as the correlation coefficient which we say the letter R, that's what we use. Now this indicates how closely the points in the scatter plot fit a straight line. Now if they lie exactly on a straight line we say it is a perfect linear relationship. Now, that's very hard because they have to be exactly in a straight line. To measure the strength of it, as I said, we work out the correlation coefficient, and this has the following properties. If it's scattered all over the place, as you can see this first graph, then R equals zero. There is no way we can draw a line that we sort of see, oh, yeah, there's a line here. So a non-linear relationship for this one. The next graph shows a perfect positive linear Perfect because it's directly on a straight line. Positive because it's going up and it is a straight line. So this is R equal to plus one. And the other one shows a perfect negative linear relationship. You can see the graph is going down. And again, perfect for the same reasons as before. Negative because it's going downhill. So we say R equals negative one. Now we can classify the strengths of R according to these rules. If R is between 0.75 and 0.99, we say it's a strong positive relationship. Even if it's one, we still say it's strong. We don't have to say the word perfect, but it's always good to say it if we remember it. Between 0.5 and 0.75, it's a moderate positive. Uh, 0.74, sorry, it's a moderate positive relationship. Between 0.25 and 0.49, it's a weak positive. So they're the three positive ones. Then the next one has no relationship, and that's between negative 0.24 and positive 0.24. So no relationship exists here. Then between negative 0.25 and negative 0.49, it's a weak and it's a negative relationship. 
which is the same as the positive, just that we're looking at the negative section. Moderate negative relationship is between negative 0.5 and negative 0.74. And strong negative relationship is between negative 0.75 and negative 0.99. So it's the same as the positive numbers, just negative ones. And there's the work to be completed.